Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the Two Noble Kinsmen and we get to hear from the wooer today in Act 4, Scene 1. Now remember, the wooer is wooing the jailer's daughter and the jailer wants the wooer to marry his daughter. But the jailer's daughter is in love with Palamon and set him free. And then she spent some time sort of wandering around the woods because he left the agreed upon meeting spot uh, and went and found our site but she was like where did he go he's probably been eaten by wolves and then she's afraid that her father is going to be killed because he's going to be blamed for palamon getting out of jail and that sort of thing and while she was wandering around like all crazy she ran across the schoolmaster and the other people that were going to be putting on uh, the morris dance during all the may day celebrations and they needed one more female dancer so they had her join in and theseus and his crew were pleased and so they all went on about their lives so in act four scene one where we are today we had um the jailer with a couple of his friends and they have let him know that he has been pardoned because Palamon said that it was the jailer's daughter that got him out of prison. She has also been pardoned. Um, and they're thinking that maybe Palamon and Arsite might also be pardoned because there's this whole thing that's been set up where Palamon and Arsite are supposed to go away for a month, come back with three friends each, and then there's gonna be a really weird, almost sumo wrestling match, but with swords and a pole that's gonna happen. So. <laughs> interesting stuff but we're hanging out with the jailer and his friends and the important things to them are that the jailer has been pardoned and his daughter has been pardoned but then the wooer comes in he's like have you seen your daughter anywhere lately and the jailer's daughter or the jailer's like yeah you know i i thought i saw her but she was looking maybe a little a little off and that might be because she's in love with palamon or maybe because she was worried about me or something and and the wooer's like yeah yeah, that's probably, that's probably why she wasn't okay. And the, the jailer's like, wait, what are you talking about? And the wooer says, I'll tell you quickly. As I late was angling in the great lake that lies behind the palace, from the far shore, thick set with reeds and sedges, as patiently I was attending sport, I heard a voice, a shrill one and attentive. I gave my ear when I might well perceive "'Twas one that sung, and by the smallness of it, a boy or woman. "'I then left my angle to his own skill, came near, "'but yet perceived not who made the sound. "'The rushes and the reeds had so encompassed it. "'I laid me down and listened to the words she sung, "'for then, through a small glade cut by the fisherman, "'I saw it was your daughter.' So what the wooer is saying is that he found the jailer's daughter. He has seen her recently. He was out, he was out like fishing and he heard a song being sung from across the lake and went to investigate to see what it was. And whoever it was that was singing was, was sort of hidden in bushes and all that sort of thing. But through this little hole in the bushes, he could see that it was the jailer's daughter who was singing and the jailer's like well what was she singing and he's like well she was singing like some weird stuff about palamon and the jailer's like well like what and the wooer's gonna tell us like what tomorrow we'll see you then for that Mwah.